Hey guys, M2 Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Dungeons & Dragons Golden Archive Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Displacer Beast. So here we have the box. It's got the weird like triangle portion um, off in the corner. We get this artwork of the Displacer Beast looking really damn cool. So it's not exactly like an image from the movie. It might be like some of the... Um, uh, the promotional artwork or concept art um, and stuff. We get the movie logo down here up in the corner. It's that movie like and logo. Here on the side it says the Displacer Beast possesses a malevolent intelligence that makes it a feared predator throughout the realms. So interesting. There's a QR code there. I'm not sure what that QR code does. I haven't checked it out. Uh, but here we have a look at the figure and not really the accessories but kind of everything together. Whatever these like... Uh, tentacle pieces? I don't even know what you would really call these things. Um, the Displacer Beast in the movie, if you haven't seen it, I, I highly recommend it. Very entertaining movie. The Displacer Beast uses these things, which creates like a hologram. So you can, like, it looks like, so say it looks like the Displacer Beast is coming at you head on, but it's really coming at you from the side. So it, you know, it, it tricks you into seeing something that isn't really there kind of thing. It's kind of weird. Like, I'm sure there's like some lore about it and stuff, but it was a pretty cool looking, um, you know, beast in the movie and everything. It's, you know, this gigantic cat with six legs and all kinds of stuff. Um, so here's the box. I got this from Hasbro Pulse today. Um, it, again, it is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. I am collecting the Honor Among Thieves uh, movie figures. I already took the liberty of taking this thing out of the box. Um, and it's a whole hell of a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, this thing is kind of ridiculously big. Um, so, yeah, it's it's crazy. These things here, and I'll show a closer look at it, these actually have bendy wire. So you can do um, all kinds of stuff. And they actually have a hinge on there, so you can hinge it back, hinge it forward a little bit. There's some crazy-ass paint going on all along this thing. Like, it's got little scars and things. It's got this purple shading to it. It's pretty crazy. But, yeah, six legs. It's got some crazy-ass points of articulation and everything like that. Like, the tail um, is also hinged and can swivel, and it's just... All kinds of stuff going on here like the jaw is articulated so it, it's pretty nuts one big problem that I have with it though is depending on how you have the body as you can see this the middle legs um, like you can have it on like the four like the two front and the two back but then the middle legs are a little bit shorter um, well I guess if you just maybe not I guess I would just have to straighten them out but you know like cats and it always seems like you know there's it's always like bent at like the knee or whatever so it's kind of weird but there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on here so let's go ahead and get in for a closer look so we can talk about the displacer beast okay so i'm trying to get as best as i can some bright lighting into here but because the figure is so low and it's very dark in color it may not look as well let's see if i put a light down this way all right. Okay. So here we go. I just have to lay my lights down in a funky way so you guys can see it. Hopefully my hands don't really get in the way of the lights. Uh, but looking at the Displacer Beast, um, just crazy. Look at that head sculpt there. He's got these eyes that are just kind of crazy. We got the scar in there, the color um, in the uh, the ear. Inside the mouth, look at the teeth are painted. The tongue is painted. Um, we do have an articulated jaw, so we can open his mouth that much, and then you can close it that much there. Uh, so pretty crazy. The, the articulation is kind of insane all over the place, and we'll get to that later on just to look at the articulation. But uh, pretty awesome, and then you can kind of see the purple shading kind of throughout, and you can see kind of these scars and stuff. And then these tentacle-like pieces, we get this blue paint that's kind of throughout. Um, it almost looks like stress to the plastic, but it's actually like this bluish gray paint that's kind of throughout the whole thing which is pretty crazy like there's an insane amount of paint like surprisingly for this guy so like there we see some kind of some scars and stuff but the whole back of the body get this gets this nice metallic purple paint in there which is really cool and then like something on some of the shoulders um we get that uh the the feet the claws are all just painted kind of the same color as the teeth this you know beige color uh looking at the other side we get some scarring along the tail along some of the legs the body and throughout and we get again some of that purple uh color in there so uh pretty crazy the tail itself also has a little bit of that bluish gray paint added in throughout the tail 
Um, the figure itself doesn't get any of that, so it's just kind of on these pieces. So the tail piece, um, and then the pieces that actually come out of the back uh, get that bluish gray paint. Uh, but yeah, just like this thing is just crazy. So I wanted to show you guys there. Um, it's it's pretty damn awesome. Like I'm pretty impressed by it. it it's it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be and way more menacing than I really thought it was going to be um, which I think is always a good thing right you want to be surprised you want to be shocked so um, pretty nuts kind of what they did uh, here so let's go ahead and zoom out and look at the articulation and there's a crap ton of points of articulation on this like each leg has several points of articulation so um, bear with me it's probably going to take some time uh, but we'll get through it it's pretty wild, like I can't even get the whole figure with those tentacle pieces like straight on up, like all the way in frame because of how high up they go. It, it's it's pretty nuts. So this, this thing um, is quite large, but let's get in um, for a little bit of a closer look so we can take a look at all the different points of articulation. Okay, so first the tail uh, does have a hinge so you can go... Uh, down that far go up that far you get a swivel in there and then with the with the tail you can get the tail to go down uh, That much these tentacle things on its back which have you know these things which are all kind of Pokey like the spikes like they're definitely harder down here here They're a little bit softer no big deal But you don't want to squeeze right there because that'll kind of hurt so you can see the inside um, of it there uh, but these uh, do swivel inside of that back piece and then they do have a hinge they are labeled so one has an l one has an r so you know which side to put it in uh to port it in so there is the two of those there uh, now as far as the body the head is on its own piece so you get the head gets its swivel um it's on a ball joint a little bit so you can kind of move it side to side a little bit um up and down a little bit on there then the neck piece has its own so you can hinge it down that much hinge it up that much so getting the head that much motion there and then you actually can get some side to side a little bit in there um, and then you can swivel around that neck piece to get all kinds of articulation uh next is the body so you have this the upper body and then the lower body. It's on a ball joint, so you can be able to move that around. Uh, let's see. So you can, you know, tilt down, tilt to the sides um, and whatnot. You could tilt up or down. Um, all kinds of crazy motion going on in there. And you can flip it around if you want to do some weird, crazy stuff uh, there as well. Now, each leg, again, there's three three sets of legs, so six in total. So the the, the far back legs have one, two three four different points of articulation so you have this leg so you can get full range of motion that way um, which is kind of crazy insane there then you have uh, a swivel here um, and then you can hinge that portion of the leg that much uh, and get it straight that much as well and then you have another point of articulation here it's just a single hinge so you can bend it in that much or go straight on out like so and then right here at the ankle you could swivel that foot around you could pivot it um, and then you can hinge it down all the way and then you can hinge it up all the way so pretty crazy uh there on the rear hind legs um yeah just all kinds of crazy motion going on there uh the center legs um and then the f uh, the front legs are kind of going to be similar so you have that shoulder piece so you can get it to go back that much get it to come forward a little bit it does kind of pull out a little bit but not really a whole lot and it's not going to hold in place there um, we get the single jointed hinge here so you can bend that much or you can go straight out uh that much there um and then the ankle uh, you could swivel around the foot, you can hit, uh, hinge it all the way down, um, and you can hinge it up like so. There is some pivot going on in there, which is good. Uh, the same thing here, you can get that leg to go back that much forward, uh, that much there. You got the single hinge there, so you can bend that much or go straight back that much. Then you could swivel around the foot. You have pivot going on in there. You can hinge it down, uh, hinge it up as well. There is some you know, the paws are colored um, on the bottoms as well. So yeah, cra crazy articulation there, um, but you have to really work it. So it's already tough to like get certain legs to stand up um, on their own and stuff. But for this guy, even worse, cause you got to get three sets of legs um, into the right positions for it to really make sense. So, you know, 
for me, I'd have to like understand the body, the anatomy of a cat a little bit more to understand the placement of some of these legs and you know how it should make sense. Um, because I'm not even sure, like if I get those hind legs back, if I get these ones forward and then how I do it in the center, like, I don't know. I, it's just, it's kind of overwhelming the different points of articulation that you have to set right to get him in the correct, like, stance. Like if he's going to pounce on somebody, if he's looking to attack, you, you really have to work it. And I'm just not very good at it at all, but I'm going to try and do that now to show you guys how cool it can look but you know off camera it's going to take me some time for you guys it's going to be a boom and you'll see it but whew, wish me luck okay so i'm just having the most difficult time positioning trying to position this right like with the way like the this um these tentacle pieces or whatever they are trying to get this just right and f and figured out and try and get those in frame and everything um it's 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 been tough i'm not gonna lie to you um so it's got a lot of movement to it but it, it just takes um a lot of patience which i do not seem to have this evening um it looks awesome when it comes to like all the other movie figures and stuff like that so i will show uh the displacer beast next to the owl beast here shortly uh but yeah it's just it's just difficult and it's going to take a lot of time to kind of work um, I think the figure looks amazing. There's all kinds of really cool stuff going on for it. Um, again, it's just lots of working pieces to, to kind of move and get it just right. And then you want to move these around and then it messes with all the legs. So it's just, it's frustrating and awesome all at the same time, um, which is kind of cool. But um, enough of that. Let's go ahead and see kind of the side-by-side -side comparison so you can see how large the Displacer Beast is next to um, like the, 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 the human characters as well as the owl bear. Okay, so you could see here, size-wise, uh, quite large. Like lengthwise, this thing is like so much longer than what you know the owl bear um, does. So depending on kind of how you know you you kind of display your options, like this is how I display Doric the owl bear um, on, on the shelf. Uh, so you know they look very menacing together. While owl bear has like um, the the sheer the the sheer width and size. Um, you know, the Displacer Beast has in length and everything like that. So um, they do look really cool together. Some of the creatures, the only two creatures actually for the movie that we get. There are some additional lore creatures like the Xanathar and the lore owlbear, which is the brown one and has the more owl. Um, I was going to say the more owl look. It's a damn owlbear, but it has like the pointy like um, horn look to it where the feathers are. So that type of owl, I'm just like losing my mind tonight, guys. Bear with me. Oh my gosh, get it? Bear with me. Bear, owl, bear. Yeah, it's 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 another late night, guys. Another late night. Okay, so the human-like characters here, we have Edgen, um, Doric, and Zink here in the back. And you can see the Displacer Beast, um, kind of how he measures up with uh, the the humans. And yeah, um, you know, quite large, quite, quite large indeed. This is kind of a crazy side-by-side, -side, so you can see like how tall... The displacer beast just mere like by size like it's kind of ridiculous you know how big the displacer beast really is uh but it's a really fun one i'm sorry it's just this review to be honest with you proved a little bit more difficult and frustrating than i would have liked it to have been because again as you're working the body you have three sets of legs so six legs total um, to factor in and work around and figure out how to get into the proper stance and one slight movement is going to throw off the other leg which then you have to readjust to get the other leg back into position and everything um, so it's a little bit more frustrating than I would have liked to have gotten um, I think I also kind of messed up by only getting one displacer beast because you almost need to get two of the displacer beast because you know he would use these things to project an image of another one of itself so you would almost need one like off to the side projecting an image of another one going on the attack so it almost makes sense to get two but probably not um it's a 40 dollar figure i think it's actually a pretty good value for a 40 dollar figure when we look at you know other 40 dollar figures that may not have all the points of articulation that may not have some of these cool paint apps yes we're not getting any accessories but that's because of 
of everything that's going on with the figure and you know these tentacle things and how there's so much paint on there and kind of some things going on i actually think it's pretty good value i believe it's the same price as the owl bear um, i'm very happy with the way that these creatures have come out um, and i think they're ones that a lot of folks are probably going to want to pick up you know if you enjoyed the movie it might be something that you want to get or if you're a fan of really cool action figures that are of like animals and creatures and different things like that it could be fun i'm not a dungeons and dragons guy by any means i don't understand the game like at all i i just really really don't uh but i enjoyed the movie and movie figures are kind of my thing i like movie figures quite a bit except for star wars black series because that's just like a hole that i can't get into even though i have actually quite a few star wars black series figures um it, it's just that would be too much so dungeons and dragons i really enjoyed the movie um the figures are pretty cool uh, there's a lot more that i still need to get i'm waiting for a really really deep clearance on some of those like the wave one and two characters like simon um and uh holga and <sighs> i can't think of his name simon holga and i can't think of his name can't think of it but you guys let me know down in the comments below i know i'm forgetting it it'll come to me eventually at some point i'm sure uh but i don't have it yet actually this would make more sense since that is doric right there right uh so the displacer beast pretty cool action figure you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of it hopefully i i gave you guys a decent look at it so you guys can kind of see you know this is going to be one of those ones where it's exclusive to hasbro pulse you won't see it in stores anywhere to decide if it's something that you want to get you're going to have to rely on pictures um and then maybe a video like this hopefully i gave you guys a good look at it you guys let me know um down in the comments below let me know if it's something that you want to pick up you want to see more of um, I think it's actually really cool. Don't know if the Dungeons and Dragons stuff will really continue. The lore figures and additional creatures. You know, if the, these initial ones sell decently or fairly well, you know, Hasbro could look to expand the Golden Archive line. You know, they have one of the Drizz... Yeah, I don't know what his name is, right? That, that figure is going to be coming out. But that thing was like 30 bucks, so it was kind of kind of high. Um, but maybe there will be more. You know, you guys let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more from Hasbro. Um, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU, MCU Collective. Your uh, uh, support is much appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching.